Hello. Hi. I'm Goda from the Baltic Vision Academy. So, what's your name and what have you been studying here? My name is uh, Nariman Mogharam and I've done the MCC training here at Baltic Aviation Academy. And you come from Sweden? Yeah, Sweden. And let's say there are some people from other countries watching our talk. So what could you say uh, on the commercial aviation industry on, in Sweden? Commercial aviation is quite big in Sweden. Um, we have a couple of major big companies. We have Scandinavian Airlines, of course. But the climate now, since the financial crisis, uh, it's been very hard to get a job. But it's, things are starting to pick up. So uh, hopefully it, wouldn't, it won't be that bad, you know, like maybe one year or so from now. So you see some signs of the recovery? Yeah, yeah, we do. I have some colleagues who've been offered a job at some smaller companies, so things are moving at least. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And uh, what about the competition among the pilots? How is it? Um, I haven't, of course there's always competition for jobs, but I haven't experienced that much because um, every time I go to a new class, I make friends and we're just friends. But of course, uh, the better you are, the better are the chances to get a job. So, but. Maybe the competition is there under the surface, but you don't think about it that much. So what do you think, what are the main qualities uh, needed for a good job in aviation? For a good job? Uh, a good job for me would be uh, a job close by where I want to live. Uh, a job where you can have a family, come home. Not every day, but you know, to have some days off at home and uh, to have a, an okay salary. It doesn't have to be extreme money, but just so you can survive and live your life. That would be a good job for me. <laughs> and what do you think, what your qualities should be to get that job? My qualities? Yeah, your qualities. Um, I think as long as you're just yourself, and like for an employer, if he sees that you're just being yourself, not trying to be someone else, and you have the qualities he wants to have for a pilot, then it's no problem, I think. And what do you think are the main qualities uh, like for pilots? Pilots, I think, uh, you should be calm. Try to be calm. Some people are calm in nature. Some people get stressed out in, in odd situations. That is, of course, not a good thing. You need to keep your head cool in all kinds of situations. And you have to be... Um, able to communicate, be social, and uh, make, I say, just to be able to cooperate. Some people can't do it, and other people can't, so. Okay, so tell me, how did you come uh, to Vilnius? How did you choose the Baltic Aviation Academy? Um, we were planning to, to choose where we are going to do our MCC, and we had a couple of alternatives. And then one friend, uh, Nicholas, who was here with me, he found the Baltic Aviation Academy on the internet. And uh, we saw that they had a type rating for a very good price at, at that time. So we thought, okay, the MCC has got to be cheap as well. So uh, we emailed, emailed with uh, Ritis Gritsenas and uh, he gave us a good price. So that's the main reason. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see. So, well, if you come on price, then what about the experience? Uh, was it like the expected or, uh, or much more? And you know, was um, it was better than what we've ex expected because uh, uh, Eastern Europe is, for me, it's, I'm half Polish, so I know Eastern Europe, but for other people, for my colleague, for example, he was, oh my God, what if they rip us off? What if it's going to be all crap when we came come here? And I had no no high ex expectations, and I just expected to come here, get my certificate, and that's it. But it, it was much more than that. It was super, very good. Everything was perfect. Thank you. And what I wonder, uh, what we did recently, 
uh, is uh, com provided an upgrade of the visual system, mm -hmm. like completely upgraded it. Yeah. Uh, what about the Boeing 737 uh, simulator? Uh, can you feel like those upgrades and the wall quality in general? Yeah, I, what I've heard from the instructor, the, the visual system now is much better than it was before. But I, I haven't seen the previous one. No, but this is unbelievable. It's so real, almost too real. <laughs> but it's really nice. What more is uh, we also like want to have some feedback on the people working here and so on. So my question would be, uh, how was your work? How was your experience with the instructor? Our instructor, Donat. We had Donatas. Uh, is like the best instructor you can imagine. He was always keeping his cool and like if he didn't understand anything, he would just, okay guys, look, it's like this and he, we would try to explain. It was, he was, it was perfect. Everything was so good, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I see. so you came on price and like, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we didn't know anything about any yeah, instructors yeah, yeah. before, yeah, but yeah. surely if, Every instructor is like Donatas, it's better than any place. Uh, well, so one more thing, a little bit more on you. How did you decide to become a pilot? When was it? Like, it's almost like every boy's dream to become a pilot. So when I was little, I wanted to be a pilot. Um, but then when I was around 14 or something, I, I started playing music a lot. So uh, during my gymnasium, I studied music and music technology. So that was my main focus. But after a couple of years, I realized, okay, this is really funny. Music is really a part of me. But do I really want to work as a musician? To have like, in my free time, I want to play music. But do I really want to work as a musician? And it's really hard to work as a musician as also. Everything is so unstable. Mon one month you have like tons of gigs the other months you have nothing so it's so uh, it's quite unstable so I thought all right let's try I will just try to take my private license and if I enjoy it I will continue and I I liked it so now I'm here <laughs> Great. and like can we make some music with the aircraft buttons <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is possible <laughs> it will be possible yeah <laughs> okay let's see. well uh, if your dreams could come true, how would you imagine your professional career in, let's say, five years? Five years? Yeah. What, would, would, be, what would you like to uh, have? I would like to have a job, first of all, and a job which I like, flying an airplane. The airplane, I mean, it doesn't matter as long as you have a job, but of course there's some favorite aircraft that you want to fly. So I, five years, I want to be flying the 737 NG and have like 4,000 hours on it. <laughs> yeah. What would be your advice, like uh, you, you've done some courses already, what do we, would be your advice for the beginners, from people at the zero level? Okay, my advice to people, often when I meet people who say, oh, I want to be a pilot, the first mistake people always do is uh, to have they have a picture of what a pilot is, what he does, and how much money he makes, and how good of a life he lives. But it's it's the old people have tendencies to watch the old picture, like the 60s and 70s, when pilots were gods. And now it's not quite like that. It's hard to get a job. Everybody thinks, oh, it's so easy. I got a job, and I will make tons of money. It's, that's not the truth. And uh, with with different schools. There's, in Sweden there's a lot of different aviation schools and like if you type in on Google a flight school Sweden you will get listed the most commercial schools of course first and the ones are really really expensive I mean 800 80,000 euros or something it's a lot of money and people with this misconception that pilot makes a lot of money Okay, I will invest 80,000 in my future and then afterwards they won't get a job or not that easy that they would think they would get a job. So my tip is always like try to take a private pilot license at a local flying club because it's the cheapest. If you like it, you could continue. 
and try always to look for the cheapest alternatives. Of course, you should be uh, informed of the place before you pay something because maybe it's just shit. But really, there's a lot of cheap ways to become a pilot. You don't have to pay 80,000 euros for it. So, like, my last question is, did you like Lithuanian beer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every country should have its beer, and Lithuania has good beer, really. I was out last night with Ritis, and he, uh, he, he was talking about some fresh beer with no conservative added. Yeah. It was really good. So we, we were out drinking a couple of beers last night. Okay, so the another reason to come, to come here. <laughs> yeah, and to see the country as well. It's, you, you don't know so much about Lithuania, at least I don't. But now I'll, I know a little bit more. <laughs> and I've seen Vilnius, so nice. Okay, so like many thanks and all the best in your career. Yeah, thanks, thanks.